I really like that former senator. <laughs> they had asked to do what we are doing here tonight. And we are joining together this evening to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. We heard voices at the Saturday March joyfully recount the great progress that the movement made. But we also clearly heard there is still a great need for more progress. We heard there is much more to do that we cannot give up. Hope was the theme of the day, and we are here tonight not only to celebrate the progress made by those whose names are etched in the sidewalk in front of us, but also to denounce the damage our state has done from the hands of the legislature. And I want to say we have another legislator here from Durham, Mike Woodard. voice and we're so glad he joined. To recap what damage has been done, let's start with economic or the war on poor and the middle class. The legislature repealed the earned income tax credit which Ronald Reagan created as the best help for the working poor. Then they repealed the estate tax which affects only a few wealthy people who were doing fine without their extra millions. Robin Hood in reverse, take from the poor and give it to the rich. The Republicans raised the interest rate to 30% on small loans that people use to get through a crisis. Whatever happened to, as you do unto the least of ye, these. The Republicans raised the sales tax on mobile and manufactured homes by 300%. And those homes are the major source for home ownership for low income people. They repealed the sales tax holiday for school supplies that low and middle income people used heavily. But they raised the income taxes on middle and poor people while lowering taxes on rich people and corporations. The Republicans refused to expand Medicaid, which not only would have provided health insurance to 494,000 people, but it's already forcing hospitals, such as Mission Hospital in Nashville, that just this week had to make cuts, resulting in a huge loss of jobs. Rural hospitals may go out of business, meaning poor people have to travel farther to get medical care. They cut unemployment, so my, some may have to move in with relatives or even become homeless. Even McCrory's Commerce Secretary said that will hurt the economy and stall growth. Education. The Republicans cut 3,800 teachers' assistants who are now out of a job. Shame. Shame. And 5,100 teachers who are also out of a job. Shame. And 4,000 students now have fewer teachers and larger class sizes. Shame. They cut custodians, librarians, counselors. Then the Republicans gave vouchers to even rich people to go to private schools. And of course, charter schools have unlimited growth, little supervision, and teachers don't even have to be college graduates. They cut textbook funds. They dissed teachers by taking away job security and telling them they would be graded. And of course, no pay increase. What bright young person would want to be a teacher? <laughs> Voting. The Republicans wrote a law that requires ID with lots of obstacles to getting an ID and limiting the types of ID allowed. They cut straight party ticket voting, even though they had the statistics. The Republicans had the strati statistics show that straight party voting is heavily used by African Americans. That's going to show up in a court case. They reduced early voting that, again, they know is used heavily by African Americans. Students will be a great, at a great disadvantage because if they go to the wrong precinct, their vote won't count they won't even be able to get, do a provisional ballot as they did under the law previously. 16 and 17 year olds can't pre-register. They're pride depriving them of a civic lesson and preparing them for lifelong citizenship. I'm gonna quote President Clinton. A great democracy does not make it harder to vote than to buy an assault weapon. Republicans wrote a law that requires ID with lots of obstacles, and then they repealed judicial campaign funding. They won the last Supreme Court case by spending millions to defeat a respected candidate, a Democrat, of course. 
and our justice system will be com compromised. 13 appeals court justices asked them to keep the campaign funding. The environment. They repealed regulations that protected our water, air, and land, and committed economic, environmental injustice to our poor African-American communities with mega landfills. Make no mistake, this was a war on poor people, education, health care, and the environment. But we can take it back if we make every person has the right ID and is registered to vote. I'm going to pass around these, and I hope you'll sign up to help us with our voter ID project. I want to make absolutely clear, this legislature did not do the will of the people. clear by the thousands who gathered on Moral Mondays, by the almost 1,000 people who put themselves forward to be arrested. Let me make this absolutely clear. The legislature was not elected by the people. Let me repeat that. This legislature was not elected by the people. It was elected by the Koch brothers and Art Pope. more Democrats voted last election than Republicans, but Republicans took over the legislature. How could that happen? Well, we know the Koch brothers and Art Pope, so that they could take over the state by to redistrict and thereby assure a Republican legislature. They denied hundreds of thousands the right to choose their legislature. They redistricted, redistricted so that Alec could write our laws and take over they did. We have to say to them, Yes, we care about those without medical care, even though you don't. We have to say we care about those who have no income because you turned off their unemployment. We have to say all children deserve an education, not just the wealthy, and that we love our teachers even if you don't. We have to say you can't destroy our environment so you can pay your CEOs millions more. And we won't stand to take away people's voting rights by every dirty trick in the, in the book. So sign up. We won't stand by without raising our voices and, yes, our fists. Yeah.